Welcome to the installation instruction movie for the Krona Optisonic 6300P portable clamp-on flow meter. Start the installation with finding an installation position with sufficient straight inlet and outlet for the clamp-on flow meter. An inlet of 10dn and outlet of 5dn is recommended. In order to commence measurement, the pipe needs to be filled completely. The system is delivered as standard in a waterproof trunk on wheels and is stored in three separate layers. The top layer contains the converter, tape line, I.O. connection box, USB stick and the power adapter. The second and third layers contain the sensor rails, the contact grease and the metal straps. Pick up and switch on the converter. Select the installation menu. This menu will guide you through the installation procedure, including sensor choice and measurement mode. You can connect two sensors simultaneously to the converter. The first installation step is to select the measurement configuration. In this case, we're only using one sensor, and therefore, the one pipe, one path option is selected. Press Next to continue to the application data menu. In this menu, you have to enter all application data. You can use the scheduled data in combination with the delivered database included on the memory stick to find out about the process parameters. Enter the outer diameter. Select the pipe material from the list and enter the wall thickness. If present, enter the same data for the liner. Press Next and select the liquid from the list. Based on the program data, the converter advises which sensor to use and its installation mode. In this case, the most common two-traverse mode is advised. The sensors can also be installed in a one-traverse mode for large and difficult applications and a four-traverse mode for small diameter applications. Pick the advised sensor set from the trunk using the calibration number. Return to the converter and press Next. The converter now calculates the advised sensor position based on the data previously supplied. Now continue with the mechanical installation. The connectors are color-coded blue for upstream and green for downstream. Take out the metal straps and put them into the fixing units. Hand tighten the sensor onto the pipe wall. Make sure to install the sensor on an angle. Then, after positioning, use a number 5 Allen key to firmly attach the sensor to the pipe wall. Place the transducers at the correct distance. For this, put the down transducer on the zero position in the rail. The second transducer can now be placed accurately using the ruler on the rail. Take the contact grease from the trunk and use the click and turn mechanism of the fixing units to apply the contact grease. Use the color codes on the connectors to connect the sensor to the corresponding up and downstream connectors in the converter. The converter now automatically finds the signal. Continue with the installation menu. Use the optimized position loop to improve the installation. A signal quality of at least 50% is advised for accurate measurements. When finished, press Next and, if required, save the site file. The site file is then stored on the large internal memory for future use. With the installation completed, you can monitor the flow on one of the two measurement pages or on the graphical page. These pages are freely adjustable to the user's own needs. 
The converter can also be used for data logging. Up to 150,000 data points can be stored in a single log file. The internal memory of the device is sufficient to store up to 50 of these large log files. The log files can easily be exported directly onto a USB stick as CSV files and imported into Excel for further analysis of the process. The portable clamp-on can also be integrated into the process using the separate I.O. box, which can be ordered with the system. In this way, the Optisonic 6300P can be easily used for controlling, checking, and analysis of a broad range of applications.